Merchants in Oakland's Fruitvale Village say over the span of two months, there have been four brazen shootings resulting in one death and multiple people injured. The four situations happened within the last few months um, in this area without any kind of any kind of recourse. Taco shop owner Dominic Prado says the city is aware of this area's issues after bringing officials, including Mayor Shang Tao and Council Member Noel Gallo, here for a violent summit last month. But ever since that meeting, nothing has happened. We haven't seen any kind of change. We've only seen more of the continuance of the violence. That's why merchants have since developed a list of demands for the city, including installing more cameras, parking, and street changes, and adding security to the area. People don't care. They pull up by here, they shoot in. They don't care who's walking by, who's driving. Who... You can't you can go to sleep comfortable. You can uh, I can't travel anywhere. I can't do anything because I'm afraid I have to stay around my kids and my, around my business. Adnan Mosin, the owner of both a convenience store and cell phone repair shop, says he's had windows broken in his store seven times now, not to mention the ATM ripped from the wall of his business about six months ago. I'm really thinking very hard to shut this business down because I can't, I can't put myself in my kids some risk, you know, every day for this uh, same problems. Councilmember Gallo says he drafted a resolution to close East 12th Street, but the businesses and banks objected. Then he worked to put a police substation here, but Fruitvale Village's operators objected. We want equitable attention to this area. But there are also calls for more long-term investment in this area, with their final demand to designate Fruitvale Village as a Latino cultural district. There's a lot of wonderful energy creativity in this neighborhood, and it's all being uh, obliterated. In Oakland, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News.